Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the... Okay, all set to go. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Iglesias in for a strike, and we are underway. Ground ball up the middle. Gordon collects, throws to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's Charlie Blackman. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. And that one fouled off. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the. Bottom of the first. And today on the hill, Antonio Senzatella. Going to be hard to top his last start, Singy. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. To first, one up, one down. Rod Carew, the next twin up to hit. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. In there for strike one. Very few would question that Carew was one of the top hitters of the 1970s. Chopper right side in plenty of time to first and the home first moving along quickly today Two gone third. Third baseman. Paul Molitor the next twin up to hit Molitor fourth in the American League in batting average this year slapped hard the other way but foul the why to kick the pitch and a foul ball. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Slow roller up the middle. Rogers handles. Sends it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Twins retired in short order. We played an inning. No score. And here is C.J. Crone. His home and away splits there. The first base is number 25. C.J. Crone. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Yeah. Going one. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far moving the ball around nicely. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Randall Gritchick now.
And that's in there for strike one. And ball one. And he grounds one to the right side. And it gets by him. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. Gritchick at first, one gone. Next offering is fouled back. Throw over to first, and he's back in easily. One one now. Just missed. Second inning here, no score. pitch stays alive well he's desperately looking for that swing and miss he's gonna have to just change speeds a little bit try to move it around create just a little bit of illusion at the end and he deals and a swing and a miss and yeah, there's two away well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout it's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate I'd say a very hittable location but in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just oh. fires off a really poor swing. Brendan Rodgers in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. No score here in the second. Swing and a miss. And that is that. The Rockies strand one. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the batter now, Torrey Hunter. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. Snakes through, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here is David Ortiz. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. That ups his hitting streak to lucky number 13. The Baker's dozen, Boog, and it doesn't seem like a huge number, but anytime you get to the point where you've hit in every game for almost two weeks straight, uh, that's a sign of what kind of rhythm you're in. And stepping in is the speedy Joe Maurer. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Nope. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Wow. That one pushed foul. The pitch. This one smacked out to left center. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. One run is in. Iglesias with a relay home. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. It's 2 nothing. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's Royce Lewis. Oh, that got him on the mound. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. And now for the Twins, Justin Mordeaux. And first offering is fouled off. 
Runners on the corners, no outs. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Bryant right there to make the grab. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in on the sack fly, and they're up by three. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Senzatella checks over to first, and he's back. Lewis, the base runner at first with one out. Line drive to short and caught. Now back, the center fielder, Byron. Stepping in, Byron Buxton. There's a sense of anticipation in the ballpark as everyone waits to see if he can inch closer to the consecutive game hitting streak. Ripped on a line to center. Reaching for it and brings it in. And now it's Elias Diaz. There you see his May and June numbers so far. And there's the strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Next is the designated hitter, Connor Joe. Connor Joe. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. The wind of the pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. Two strikes. Out towards right center field. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Now around second, going for third. And he's got himself a triple. Up next for Colorado, the shortstop. Jose. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Yeah. And that's a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little that's slider ball. action. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Buxton makes the play. Runner tags for home. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Well, as a former outfielder, I love this play. When you get the opportunity to throw a guy out at the plate, makes the catch as the runner tags, and a laser throw to the plate on the money for the double play. As we go... To the last of the third. Now it's the Twins DH, Rod Carew. Hit hard, that gets through. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of. Feed to second, that's one and two. In time to first for the double play. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Minnesota, Torrey Hunter. There's a swing and a drive. Bangs off the wall. Cut off, throw to second, and that's a double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. And that should be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second, and they lead by four. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but... You'll take that swing and that result every time. And now it's going to be Joe Maurer. And that should be extra bases. Run comes in from second. It's 5 nothing. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee.
Lewis takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Two outs. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. It's there, and that's a great play. Back here at the ballpark, now it's Charlie Blackman. The right-hander back to work. Line drive. Mordeaux makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Here's Chris Bryant now. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. 0-2 now. And fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And down on strikes. And there's two down. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye right there. One and two, the count. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One and two now. And there's a foul ball. Here's a one two. Stays alive. And a one two. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. One, two, three, go the Rockies. It's five nothing. Bottom four, and now for the Twins, Justin Mordeaux. Off for the Twins. The Sends Atella back to work. Justin. And first offering is fouled off. Look out, that ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Going two now. Popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Oh, the throw is wild. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Digging in, Nick Gordon. And that's ripped into left, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm. Yoli's Jassin. He last pitched two days ago. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Yo one. Foul ball. And a foul ball. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is foul back. On the ground right side, four. Can't glove it cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. That one the other way, and that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's seven to nothing.
a two run double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Man at second with one away. And now, Paul Molitor. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Fires over to Crone. And that's an out. The right fielder, number 48. Sorry. Hunter. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Torrey Hunter. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. And that one is lifted in the air. Gritchick makes the catch, and that'll do it. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Twins seven, and the Rockies nothing. All set for the start of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Randall Gritchick. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Wind in the pitch. Yeah, there's the strike. Here comes the pitch. That's down and in. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't one look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. The one two. Swing and a miss, struck him out, one away. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Left-hand batter waits. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Two away. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left. So expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Rogers in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The big right. Back in Minnesota, John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, David Ortiz. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. Lined, and that's a base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Mauer in the box again, takes the strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. In the dirt, 
Now throw to first, but back easily. Here's a rocket out to left. Bryant makes the grab, and there's one down. Now here is Royce Lewis. Good contact guy, good defender. Move to first, and he's back in there. First offering, misses the mark. At the belt and fires. Up the middle. Iglesias, that's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. We're through five. It's the Twins seven. And the Rockies nothing. Welcome back. Now it's going to be Elias Diaz. Balazovic back to work. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue and first offering is fouled off next offering is in for a strike the punch out there and there's two away just overmatched on that fastball right there and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat just came right after him with three straight and he had no answer for it and now the shortstop Jose Iglesias in there and it's 0-1 well on the mound very efficient able to produce an outcome it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat next offering is foul back Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Twins seven and the Rockies nothing. Back at target field, leading off Justin Morneau. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. First offering, and it just misses. Right-handed reliever. Bounced up the middle. Rogers throws the first. There to beat him by an eyelash. Singing it was close. Looks like they want a second to review it and possibly challenge the call if they think he beat the throw. Yeah, they might challenge it just to kind of roll the dice, you know, Berg, and perhaps maybe they see something different as they get a look at some different angles. So they decided against challenging the call at first, so he is out. Nick Gordon, the next twin up to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Fires over to Crone. Two up, two down. Had to make a perfect play right there after that nice backhand stop, and he did. He couldn't have transferred the ball from his glove to his hand any better than he did. Just an excellent release. So the lineup flips over. Here's Byron Buxton. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Over to first. And that is that. Twins are set down. One, two, three. And they hold a 7-0 lead. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. So in now for Colorado, Charlie Blackman. The pitch. And there's a ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. 
And a swing and a miss. One, so impressive how the velo is still there even this deep into the outing. Next offering is foul back. Next one just misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Mordeaux moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. Next to hit for the Rockies, Chris Bryant. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. All over that one right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. One down. CJ Crone digging in for the Rockies. And first offering is fouled off. In the air out towards right center. Buxton moving under this one. Two down. Now batting the center fielder, Randall. Grichik. So up next, Randall Gritchick. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the third out. Daniel Bard gets the call to the mound. 25th appearance of the year for him. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Rod Carew. And a pitch. That's in for a strike. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Tyler Kinley appears to be getting loose. Righty to the plate. On the ground to third. Oh, great grab on the dive. And very nicely done for the out. Now that the third baseman. So up next for Minnesota, Paul Molitor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. Now one and one. And here it comes. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. The pitch. Bounced out to short. Slings it across. And a couple of quick outs. The back. The right here. Now it's the right fielder, Tory Hunter. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh oh now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just yeah. terrific bite at the end. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he'll two. And a swing and a miss there. Diaz gets it to first. That's the inning. top of the eight so in now for Colorado Ryan McMahon and when you talk about elite defensive third baseman this guy is at the top of the list 
Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Makes the grab one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Fought off foul. And he'll one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Brendan Rodgers blasts one out. His ninth homer of the year. It's 7-1. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Here's a 1-1. Strike on the inside corner. 1-2 now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Connor Joe digging in for the Rockies. First pitch, just misses. There's a strike. Gonna count one and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. It's now 7-1. Out to the bottom of the eighth, stepping in the long ball threat, Lee David Ross, Ortiz. The, twins, the first baseman, David Ortiz. And he deals. Ripped on a line. And there's one away. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under now it just it. by a Catcher. fraction of an inch or a little Go. bit more, that's way back. Next to hit, Joe Maurer, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And first offering is fouled off. On a line out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Man, that's one of those now at bats where you have to remind yourself it's Boy. about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Line drive. Caught. Nothing doing here for the Twins. And they're on top 7-1. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Jose Iglesias. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. There's a strike at the knees. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout, his fourth home run of the season.
season, and they inch closer. It's 7 2. There's Chuck Nasty. And he swings. And misses, and it's nothing in one. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Stays alive. Right hander kicks deals. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes. As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And down on strikes he goes. Now only one out remaining. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Crone in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.